what's up everybody and welcome back to day four so yesterday i took out those 200 dollars that i got from clubspoker.com um the ones that they deposited back into my account i took it out and i decided to try to use my um bonus plays i have like ten dollars every week at the chew mash so i decided to go up there you know my shoulder was hurting and you know i just i can't you know when i do DoorDash, you know i'm going in and out of the car my jeep is is a little bit high so i have to hop in and hop out you know i'm not that tall um, I show and then I go up the stairs go down the stairs and sometimes it's with a bag sometimes it's with two bags and you know it really does a number on my shoulder and um, let me show you one more time what that looks like I know it has a little to do with poker and travel and all that but it is part of my life and I do live here live out here in the west coast but let me show you what that looks like real quick <sighs> Step out. let me suck my stomach in but See, so every time I, I lift my shoulder up, I get this little, um, what do you call it? My scapula. So as you can see, it sticks out. And it doesn't stick out on my left. So when I have my hand down, you can't see it. When my hand is down, you can't see it. Every time I try to lift my arm up, um, then it comes out. And I can't stress this enough that this was done to me by a surgery doctor, you know. My shoulder was a lot better before surgery. I just, I went in for a rotator cuff repair and I came out with a separated AC joint and um, basically a separated shoulder with the winged scapula. And ever since then, nobody wanted to verify me as um, disability or unemployment or um, social security income. None of the doctors wanted to sign me off, but it was the surgical doctor that did this to me. And as you can see there, my bone isn't even connected. My acromium and my clavicle is not even connected. And it's the reason why my shoulder drops down every time I try to lift my arm up. And that was done, that was done to me on surgery. And let me show you some of the proof that I have real quick. So I don't know if you can notice, but you see how my AC is moving independently of each other? Well, that plus the lack of bone marrow that's there, it no longer gives me strength or the ability to rotate full a full 360 rotation with my shoulder. And it was caused by so the yeah, doctor. I don't know if you noticed, but um, to this shoulder, it's like there's a bone and it's separated by that much. It doesn't connect it anymore. So I don't have strength and full rotation. So it hurts. It bothers me a lot throughout the whole day. And it was never like that until surgery. Um, some guy named Dr. Proctor in Santa Barbara Alta Orthopedics, he altered my shoulder. And ever since then, it hasn't been the same. Um, but other than that, you know, so I took out those 200 bucks and you know, decided, you know, I'm gonna go play a little bit. You know, I couldn't work, that, I couldn't work yesterday. Um, I was feeling like a little bit too much in pain. You know, there's days that I do really need to rest and then I can go back and do DoorDash because DoorDash is nothing, you know, you're in and out of the car carrying bags of food but for me it does hurt it affects me and you know with that being the case i took out those 200 bucks i went out to the chew match see if i can um get use those 10 bucks in uh, points and it's gonna be one of those days that i don't know i'll let you see it for yourself but so this is the reality when you try to play um poker for a living and you know you do need a, a little uh, what do you call it? you do need a job you need a, a consistent pay from either a sponsorship or you know somebody you know tipping what do you call it um, when you guys share uh when they take like a percentage of it you know like when they buy a percentage of it um they're pretty much giving you money so you could play you know so it's kind of like a sponsorship so you kind of do need extra money coming in because it's it's tough you know um there's gonna be days where you get cooler where you should you have like 70 per 70 percent a chance of winning you know in your favor and you know you get cooler so with that being said um i'll let you guys see what happened yesterday and this is why it's gonna be day four from zero to zero. Check it out.
So right off the bat, I shove all in, trying to get rid of all the donkeys who play trash and get lucky. But I didn't get any callers, so that was good. I then find myself under the gun with King Jack Diamonds. And I make a min raise, and then I get min raised again. And the lines right now are really heavy. I was thinking about pushing, but I played it safe. Um, an ace did hit the board, so I had to check. There's no diamond out there, and it was ace deuce five. You know, it looks like a straight. Um, the guy who re-raised me made a raise, and I had to fold. You know, there's nothing I could do. I had to just give up my chips. I'm going down in chips. I got tens now. 76 players. I'm in 50th. 2,000 guaranteed. Can't go out like this. Took it down. I'm back to starting stack. On this next hand, I made the mistake of thinking I could uh, bully the big blind because he had small chips. But unfortunately, I didn't know he could see my cards because who else would make this call? No. Well, I'm now short stacking it, and I'm all in with pocket sevens. I do get called by one person, and it looks like I'm up against tens, and I need a miracle, and it's not going to come. So with that being said, I'm out, and I'm out, out. I'm out of the virtual world. I took out those $200 that I made on clubspoker.com. And I'm deciding to go to the Chumash Casino. And this is a cool little road, you know, it's so relaxing, you know, it's the Chumash Casino Road. And it goes all the way up the hill, all the way up to the mountains. And then it goes down the mountains. And you can see a lake to the right. I didn't get to record the lake. Um, it was a little turn that I forgot to record. But, you know, you, you do get to see these little mountainsides. Um, and I got $10 in free play, so I'm going to go play that. And I'm going to play those um, 40 bucks. Um, on a one, two, you see what happens, maybe a hundred bucks. Um, but I do have $200 that I made online and hopefully I can make more money because I really need to make a good a good payment, you know, to a bunch of places. And hopefully, you know, I can get this done like this because physically working, you know, it, it is hurting me. And, you know, without saying too much, you know, let's just relax and you know, enjoy this road. Kid you not, ladies and gentlemen, with the first spin, my last two dollars, I did hit this um, bonus, and in total, I ended up making twenty nine dollars. Spoiler alert: um, I didn't get any what do you call it mansions. So with that being said, it didn't come out too too heavy in in prize, but it was nice that I did get a jackpot on the first spin, and I did get a jackpot on the other slot machine. So all in all, it's looking good. It's feeling good. You know, I'm ready for my name to be called. I'm on the list to play um, Texas Hold'em 1-2. There is no 1-3 today. Just one table today, but hopefully it'll start to pick up pace. You know, hopefully poker players will start to come in uh, and realize the potential. You know, there's a lot of prizes you could win in that poker room. So with that being said, uh, I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of this video. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe.
So, like I said, I was waiting for my name, and I had $29 officially in my pocket from the $10 free play. So, I decided to get some uh, spicy habanero spicy bites. And basically, you order it in the kiosk. You pick a flag with the number, and you put that number in that box right there. And somebody in the sports bar will come and bring it to you. All right, so after losing $50 with Pocket Jacks to Pocket Queens... Um, and then losing another $50 with pocket 10s versus pocket jacks. So they were both all in pre-flop. I decided to move seats because that seat was horrible. And I ended up um, buying in for my last 100 You know, I don't travel much, you know, often. You know, I'm usually just working these days. So I decided to stay up here and see if I can get it back. And with that being said, you know, I shipped it with Ace King offsuit pre um, pre-flop. I was in the hijack first to act. I made a six dollar raise the two people to my left both called and then the guy in the button ended up making a 26 dollar raise um at this point i ended up shoving it all in because i think i had like 75 74 dollars and i wanted my hundred back you know i wanted to get everything back and at this point there was already 26 plus 12 was like 30 something dollars 38 dollars so i wanted even if everybody would have folded i would have picked up 30 bucks um, but in this case, he ended up calling me and he showed that he had ace queen. <laughs> you want to call? You want? If I call? Yeah. You want? You, you, can, you can stay on the block. After getting sucked out with an ace queen versus ace eight on an ace eight board, um, I went back down to like about 70 something, $80. And I find myself with Pocket Kings, Dallas Cowboys, baby. And they were getting killed in this day. They were actually playing this day and they were getting murdered. So I shipped it. I said, if it's time to lose, it's time to lose. You know, even Dallas Cowboys is losing. So to my surprise, though, it went four ways. Four people ended up calling it and it came out clean, 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 clean. So at this point, point, I was about maybe down only forty dollars you know was, i had this at 160 maybe um which meant i was only down 40 bucks and it was looking like it was in the right direction when i absolutely got cooler and i'm talking about i had a 93 percent chance at winning he only had two cards that can come out that which he can hit to win and this is what happened so i was in the small blind with ace king offsuit and there's a raise to $6 with the call. And the player on the button makes it $21. And I was thinking about raising it. But I don't know. He even said it too. He's like, it's just $21, man. And I didn't want everybody to fold. So I just called it. That enabled the other two people behind me to call. And the board comes Ace, 10, Jack, Rainbow. I lead out with the $25 bet. And everybody calls again. The turn brings a seven of spades and I ship it all in. Two people fold and the guy in the button tanks calls and then a king of diamonds hits on the river for a two outer and I can't believe it. I lost those two hundred dollars and I'm out. But before I leave, let me show you a little bit of what this room looks like. They just set it up. It's a brand new poker room out here in Chumash Casino. And these are going to be the new tables. You're going to be digital. You're going to be playing um, not with the dealer anymore. It's just going to be players and you're going to switch your money in those machines. So let me know what you think. Let me know what hand you think I should have played differently or what do you think I should have done. Um, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.